Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm here today for your latest ortho update. And again, today is gonna to be a little bit of a two for one. Uh, it is July 26th now, and I need to tell you about my June appointment and my July appointment, and I'm about three weeks away from my August appointment. But summer is just flying by. It is crazy busy, as I'm sure you know, and I'm sure you are going through the same thing. We all feel this way. Summer, especially here in New England, is way too fast, and we just try to cram so much into it. Uh, and it's amazing, but it literally can go by in the blink of an eye. So in the name of that, I'm not going to keep you very long. We're going to give you a two for one quick update and we're going to get you all up to speed. We'll all be caught up and we'll go on from there. And uh, yeah, so last I saw you, I was going back to see my doctor to have this broken bracket fixed again. He did do that. And <clears throat> when I came in that day, uh, there was only one other person in the office that day, so it was a pretty fun appointment, and it was also another adult. And I know that he specializes in adult orthodontics, which is part of why I chose him, but obviously there are more teenagers there than adults, so I, don't, I do see them occasionally, but mostly I see kids. So that's the other reason I tend to book my appointments around 2 o'clock. I usually am in and out before all the school kids, <clears throat> they generally will come over like right after school. So anyways, that day it was me and this other gentleman who um, I suspect is related to the doctor because of the way they were ribbing each other. It was pretty funny. Uh, he was, you know, very well dressed and, and seemed very demure at first. And then they brought him in the back and he got in the seat and the doctor came in and he was like, how you doing? And he's like, I'm counting the days. <laughs> he's like, oh, you can't do that. And he's like, I'm counting the hours. He's like, well, you're going to be miserable then. You got to stop. And he's just... Oh, it was so funny. Um, yeah. So I'm like, listen, I, I get you, guy. I feel you. But he's right. You got you to just let it go a little bit. Try and focus on life. The time will go by. But he was pretty funny. One of his staff did do the unbanding, but then he came over and he did a quick check. And he was very happy with the progress we were making, with the spaces and everything on the top moving back. Um, so he put everything back in himself, which is always <clears throat> nice and quick, which I love. And so he put everything back on and he was like, all right, Laurie, two more appointments, two more appointments and we'll be done. I'm so excited, so excited. So I was so happy at that um, and so amused by the guy that was in the other chair that I didn't stop to make him clarify, like, do you mean uh, two more appointments and then we'll book removing or to, you know, come once and then the second appointment we'll take them off. I didn't care. I knew we were within a couple of months, either two or three of being done. So left that one pretty happy. So I did just go back a couple of weeks ago and I saw him again and they had called me that morning and said, um, you know, things opened up in, in the end of the day. If you want to come a little early, you can. And I kind of read between the lines a little for that to mean like if I come early, they could all leave early. So I was like, absolutely. So I came a little early and it was just the doctor and one other nurse. Um, there were no other, no other patients. I was clearly the last one of the day. So I was, I was very happy that they were all going to get to go enjoy. It was a beautiful day. Um, and again, he did everything himself. So... Super quick. Another reason that this update is able to be so quick is because the appointment was so quick. But he took everything off and again he looked at the spaces and he's very happy with the progress. And as long as he's looking and is immediately making positive noises and responses, I know thing, you know, he's seeing what he wants to see. That's all I need to know. Um, we are getting there. Definitely uh, still need this to come back a little. I still have some poking because we have the slack in the wire as the top is being brought back. But he did cut an extra link out of the chain that he uses to go all the way across the top. So when he goes from this tooth across the space to the back tooth, he always cuts off a certain number of links, but this time he cut off an extra one so it would be even a little tighter. So occasionally I gotta throw a little wax on the back of that most of the time, I don't even bother. Uh, it's pretty normal at this point. It's pretty easy at this point. I'm very used to it at this point. Other than remembering the elastics, which I need to put one on because I'm just realizing now. I just had lunch. I forgot to put one on. Other than remembering to take them off and put them on. And occasionally that wire poking, like, I'm just 
looking at the light at the end of the tunnel at this point. Like, that's it. It's just waiting. It's just a waiting game. Um, but I did go back and see him, and when he did finish, so he put that chain back on, and he said, all right, come see me in four weeks, and then we'll book your appointment to take him off. Yay! So, he kept his word. He kept his word. So it was three months total. Don't care. Totally fine with that. So I'm going to see him again in a couple of weeks, and at that appointment, we are going to book the date for the braces to come off. Yay! I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. I'm so ready. Oh, we've done it. We're almost there. We've almost made it. I cannot wait. And I will bring you with me. See you soon. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.